This right here is the thing that dreams are made of. Southern California isn't the only place to get an amazing California burrito. La Mexicana Bakery and Tequila in Alexandria, Virginia is the hidden gem you've been looking for. They are celebrated by newspapers, Yelpers, and Redditors alike, and we had to see what all the hype was about. So let's do this. So today we took a trip to La Mexicana Bakery and Tequila. Kira, I hope I'm saying that right. To Kira, I we think. met a really nice lady there who is running the shop. She told us they've been around for about 18 years, which is amazing. And I picked up the California burrito. It covers my entire face, so it, it sounds like it's going to be really amazing, Larry. Yeah. What did you get? The pe show the people what you got. I got a steak quesadilla. Show it to them. Look at that beautiful steak. Look how nice that looks. I also wanted to try a quesadilla, so I went ahead and grabbed a quesadilla here. She gave us two kinds of hot sauces, so I think she said, which one? This one was hotter or the this one? The green one's habanero. The green one is habanero. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I got a quesadilla. I'm not going to eat this whole quesadilla. I just wanted to try it out and see what it was all about. So, um, you ready? Bottoms up, buddy. Let's go. Are we dipping it in the green one? That's habanero. Let's, di let's dip it in the green one, shall we? Let's try it. Now, she Ooh. said do like a little drip, but I mean, you know me. Yeah. I'm just like, we just gonna go right in there. Just yeah. like that. See that? How's mm. that for a drip? Oh my God. She was not lying. That's spicy. <laughs> Holy. Dude. Holy shit. Oh my God. That is spicy. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> She's like, start with a drop, and then like, kind of adjust yourself. Hey, YOLO. You only live once, folks. What if this red one's hotter? Well, you know what, Larry? We've already gone once, and we might as well just go one more time in. Yeah. What the hell, right? So we're gonna dip it in. Why not, right? We're just gonna go for it. Here we go. This is gonna be hot. Oh my god! That was like a drop kick to the back of my mouth. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, I'm sweating. This thing is so freaking hot. I need some like, like some sour cream, bro. Mm. Mm. Keep eating. I'm gonna get some sour cream. Hold on a second. Dude. What's up, Daisy? How you doing? That was really spicy. That's like that hits you instantly too. Like some they creep up on you. Like oh that's like boom. I want to give this an accurate description while I'm not burning my mouth. So let me just put a little bit of yeah. a little bit of that sour cream on there. Dab it up a little bit, get a little dab, 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 a root. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I like that. It's a lot nicer when I'm not burning my mouth. That lady wasn't kidding. She was like, this is hot. Look my pores opening up. Holy <laughs> sh**. <laughs> Would y'all look at this burrito real quick? I can literally cover my face with this thing. Look at, it fills up it's the so entire big. frame. Y'all want a bite? You want a bite? Psych. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's freaking huge. I, there's no way I couldn't do it. Look at all that goodness on the inside there. This thing is amazing. You want to know how amazing it is? I'll tell you how amazing it is. <laughs> Your boy here does not eat beans. I do not like beans. I forgot to tell this lady to hold the beans. Oh, for real? And do you know what happened? Beans. Beans happened. Is regular beans not refried? Refried. They're refried? They're refried. Now, I'm biting into this thing, and this thing is delicious. I can taste everything. I can taste the steak. I can taste the beans. Mm -hmm. I can taste the French mm -hmm. fries. I can taste the sour cream. Mm -hmm. It is literally all right here. And I have a feeling that when I go down the burrito here, I'm going to taste a little bit of everything in every bite. That's how confident I am in this thing. I didn't weigh this thing, but this has got to be north of a of a of a uh, about a pound and a half it has to be she said it was five pounds she's I think, exaggerating i think that was exaggerating a lady bit. you were very nice i didn't catch your name that's the only reason i'm saying lady i did not catch your name you were extremely nice yep. this is not five pounds she did say it was five pounds though that is but, but it is awesome really like a football 
my right nostril burns. <laughs> stuff is pretty freaking hot though this is amazing that's that's a lot dude oh my god we do five stars yeah. correct yeah mm -hmm. ten stars ten stars i'm not exaggerating this is fantastic i'll tell you guys a little story so my father used to live in san diego oh. i go to visit him every so often and there was a place in Point Loma called Santana's, which I think they renamed to MXM. He used to take me there to get uh, the California burritos while we were out there. And the California burrito, as you know, carne asada, french fries, um, pico, uh, guac, sour cream, all that stuff. And I gotta tell you, I mean, I'd be lying if I said this tastes exactly like that because the last time I had that was over 10 years ago, so how could I possibly say that it tastes exactly like that, but I gotta tell you, this is the closest thing that's made me feel the same happiness that I felt when I had uh, MXN or Santana's out in Point Loma in San Diego, California. So there was a lot of people in the Yelp reviews too that were saying, this is the closest thing that they have in San Diego and people saying, oh, I lived in San Diego. So I can, I'm here to say, that to the best of my memory, and my memory's not perfect, but this mm. is as close as it's gonna get. That's really hot. It's like. Mm. Mm. It stinks. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Lawrence, um, let me ask you your thoughts here. Give me your star rating and your final thoughts on this place? Five stars, totally. Um, I have a track record of giving five stars. But this place really is amazing. It's authentic Mexican food. Great customer service, cooked well. Actually pretty speedy service too. We got it pretty quick. Walked yeah. in there, ordered it, had it like less than 10 minutes later. That was amazing. Um, yeah, I'd definitely go back there again. If you're down with the Mexican <coughs> food, try La Mexicana Bakery and Tequera. That's the name of it, right? Yes. Five stars. Love Five it. stars. Love it. All right. And uh, I think you guys already know this, what I'm going to rate it. It's going to be five stars all the way, although that burrito is a 10-star burrito because it is just fabulous. I loved every bite. I, I literally enjoyed every bite. Here's what I will say about this burrito as we wrap it up. Every single bite had flavor packed on it. Over to the right, you had more of the beans, the meat, uh, some of the french fries, and over towards the left was more of like the uh, sour cream, pico de gallo. Mm. But when you take a complete bite, you're essentially getting a little bit of that flavor in every single bite, and that is critical. When I go to Chipotle, man, that guac or whatever's like buried way at the bottom. Oh, no, 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 we don't play that game uh, around here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, 10 star burrito, five star restaurant, five star service. And uh, of, I love it. Go ahead. I go wanted ahead. to add, he's talking about flavor packs in every bite. You know, like I'd bite in, there'd be steak, and there'd be cheese. Yes. And then there'd be steak, and then there'd be cheese. And that's all. It's kind of like But a, that's what I like. It's kind of a dream of, uh, you know. Basic bitch! There it is! Hey! Steak and cheese. That's how you make me happy. That's right. That's the key to his heart, ladies. Mm -hmm. Basicness. Keep Basicness, it basic and yeah. simple. Uh -huh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment down below and tell us uh, some of your favorite uh, Mexican restaurants to visit in your area. Maybe we'll come by your place. Come check it out. Um, and, uh, of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. All that stuff because it helps more people to see this video. And if you really like and believe in what we're doing, share these videos out to all your friends. Tell them all about it. And uh, I think we're going to get the hell out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yep. We do appreciate it. Larry, any final words? Thank you. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. And welcome, everyone, to another edition of Gary Larry's Edible Adventures. We are back. What in the world are you doing over there? I don't know. I'm... <laughs> hey, you know, I don't know. Larry, this place that we ate at today, what do you know about it? We haven't eaten there yet. Yes. They have a, they have a diverse menu. A lot of when you're Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this is amazing though. Like <laughs> are you, are you, 
like a <laughs> like um uh this is the closest thing that I've had in Virginia. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I'm dying over here. Oh my god. The, the red hot sauce isn't down the wrong too. Oh god. But th this is the f So if you're down with the Mexican, definitely go uh, try uh if you <laughs> We'll uh we'll come and check that out and then uh <laughs> 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 you know where you remove the little trickery? <laughs> where, you, where you remove the thumb or whatever? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is there sour cream on my forehead? No. God, that stuck to my that it didn't hurt, but it was like really wet. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's wrap this. God. <laughs> if you guys smells like <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> 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 Sorry. All right. Try to get us the out of here. Okay. <laughs>